I'm out today really just for a bit of an explore and a walk around but I've seen some fish laying in close here so I've put on a bit of lunch and meat, a couple of shot and I'm just gonna have a go see if I can get one. Don't really know what they are for a bit of a, well basically free line lunch and meat. Well luckily for me and the fish, I always carry uh, pliers or forceps, so this pike will be okay. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't identify these fish as pike. They were just laying so low to the riverbed that I couldn't really tell what was going on. But yeah, this guy took a piece of um, basically free line lunch and meat. Amazing, right? <laughs> I'm gonna put it back and I'm gonna keep exploring. I might even go onto another stretch because um, this one in its low summer level is looking a bit a bit sluggish, you know, it's not, I'm not getting the feelings. <laughs> right, there we are. It's a new fish from a new river though, that's, uh, that's a cool thing. Right. Well, unfortunately that stretch just wasn't looking good. It was too low, too clear, and running really slow, and it's gonna get up to like 24 degrees today, so I just don't think that's where Barbel and Trub are gonna be today. There's a, a weir below it but I can't actually fish that on my ticket and I'm guessing that's where the fish are today. So I'm gonna have a bit of water and we're gonna shoot to uh, another stretch and you know see if we can catch up with some fish there. But we haven't blanked. Pike, get in! <laughs> I've actually ended up traveling to a, a completely different river and after walking around for about an hour and a half I finally found some fish but they're um, right in all those rafts of snags and duckweed and stuff over there but they're not very bad they're sort of undercut so I'm gonna have a go I think if I am um, gonna try free lining first then maybe set a trap afterwards oh they're moving around now it's about three or four barbel and uh, same again of chub only small ones but you know <laughs> while I'm here and I've got my stuff I'm gonna give it a go for an hour or so all right let's give this a go I don't know if we're just going to spook straight away or what, but got to give it a go. There's so many fish over there. Actually, now while I can't see any, it's probably a good time actually to cast. Oh, that 
right, spot on. That is spot on. Oh, it's rolling way too fast. Weed. It's down there now. Oh, there's a fish coming over to it, like a chub or something. Okay, there's a fish looking. Oh, I swam straight past it. Nope. Ah, oh, the hell. Here we go, another try. Just gotta get it right back in there. Oh. Free barbel, just swum over the top of the meat. There's one sitting below it now. Is he thinking about it? Ah, oh, he's moving away. I'm going to ping a few pellets across. Just see if I can get them moving around a bit and grubbing around a bit more. Stupidly saw the bite and stood there thinking, What's going on? Where is it? Oh, it's... Oh, yep, yep, it's still on. I've just got to get him off that raft. Oh, he might do it himself, which he has. Beauty. Nice barbel. Nice barbel going mental out there. Right, all this streamer weed. Got to deal with now. To getting tired I'm going downstream I hope oh nice little barbel now, I tested this earlier and the net does reach god it's just on the edge of some weeds and it's ours There we have it. Well, I'm a complete idiot. I saw the lunch of meat disappear, but I didn't really see the fish come out and I was just sort of looking at it like, what's going on, is the fish taking it? Then the line moved, I struck, and yeah, absolute carnage, but we got it in the net. I should say I tested everything before and made sure my net reached the bank, because I'm not really in a proper swim here, although I think there used to be a swim here, it's just really weeded over at the moment. So yeah, the fish is chilling in the net, and yeah, we'll bring it out, get some pictures of it, and let it go. Amazing. Lovely barbel, quite lively this one, which is a good thing on a day like today. I don't want to see them, you know, struggling for breath. That is nice. Four pound maybe, something like that? Yeah, I think we're comfortable at four pound. But that's uh, two different rivers now, two different Yorkshire rivers I've caught barbel from. I'm loving it, that is a nice fish. Nice there, uh, black spot on his gill plate there, so I'd recognise this one again. There's the other side. So we've had pike and barbel today, both on free line lunch and meat. Amazing. 
Right, let's get this fish back. There we have it. That fish went away strong. Lovely barbel. Actually one of the bigger ones that I saw out there, so I'm well chuffed with that. Let me just show you this. That hook is opened up good and proper. Now believe it or not, I've caught carp to over 30 pounds on these sorts of hooks. I mean, yes, this is snag fishing, I was playing it hard, but I've never had that happen before. That's amazing, so it just goes to show the, uh, the power of these fish and why you should be using really strong tackle. Brilliant, well, I don't know if I'm gonna fish again. I've not got much longer, but I think I'll uh, watch the water for 10, 15 minutes and that'll soon tell me what I should do. I'll let you in on a little secret. Wasn't actually gonna come and do this today. I'd planned on going carp fishing, but I slept in. Uh, Sophie said my alarm went off. I said it for five and she said it went off. I turned it off and I just went back to sleep. Uh, by the time I woke up, it was about eight and really on the gravel pit, if you miss that early morning, you've gotta go. So yeah, I thought don't waste the day, come out, explore a few rivers and boy am I glad I did. Caught two fish, fantastic. Right, I'm gonna watch this water for a little bit longer, but it's looking like I'm gonna do the off ski. That's me all packed up, ready to go. Yeah, I think the fish will come back. I can see them a little bit further away, but I've just not got time. So I'm gonna earn myself a few brownie points and head home early. Brilliant day. Two new fish from two new rivers, if that makes any sense. Both on free line lunch and meat, not something I do very often. And yeah, brilliant day. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Thank you.